Despite growth in connectivity of internet in Kenya over the last five years, large access gaps still exist, especially in the rural areas, affecting sectors such as education. Here is more. Kenya's telecommunication sector has progressed significantly over the last five years, spreading voice, broadband and postal access to 72% of the general population as at 2015. According to a new report by Intelecon, a research firm with the Universal Service Fund, this growth has been concentrated in urban areas, hence non-inclusive. 94.4% of the population today has been reached. Interestingly, only 45% of the geographical area has been reached, but 94.4% of the population is covered, and this is my, using minus 90 dBm, which actually is conservative. You can actually speak at, down to mi minus 102. So this basically is a conservative estimate, and so the actual coverage is probably even greater. And so the, the amount of population that is still unserved is, is down to 5%, and very often it's difficult and costly to reach that last 5%. 5,657 sublocations are 100% covered. 418 have less than 50% covered, and as I mentioned, 164 have zero coverage. The growth in broadband connection, both fiber and wireless, has been attributed to the rising demand for mobile and fixed data. However, there still exists a large gap, especially in 3G coverage. As far as 3G is concerned, uh, only 17% of the land area is covered by 3G today. Huge geographical gaps, but 78% of the population live within the coverage of those 3G signals. But the important thing to note, you'll see the lines where there's fiber. The fiber reads, the fiber routes within a short distance uh, reach a high percentage of the population concentrations along the major routes, including schools and other institutions. The Universal Service Fund aims at creating an IT literate generation to develop a technologically enabled workforce. Consequently, the report by Intelecon stresses on the need to focus on bridging the broadband access gap in learning institutions. The solution that we're recommending for year one is a national demand-driven approach, gear the broadband advance to schools connectivity program. And that would include tertiary non-university institutions. It's a national gap. It's not just a regional gap. The coverage to schools is very, very poor. Or the connectivity of schools is very, very poor. And it would educate and assist the emerging generation to become more IT literate. To achieve this, the Universal Service Advisory Council has set aside 180 million shillings for school-based broadband connection in partnership with the Kenya National Library Services. As part of the Universal Access Initiatives in this financial year, the authority through a partnership arrangement with the Kenya National Library Services has committed to establish 46 e-resource centers in all public libraries. That, that is within the National Public Library Network. The authority contribution to this project is 180 million shillings which is used which is to be used in supporting the acquisition of computer hardware and software local area network two years internet connectivity solar energy solution in libraries not connected to the national grid that particularly in the northern region of kenya and requisite furniture but as such investments take effect, an immediate challenge would be lack of connection to an electric grid for most schools in Kenya's rural areas and a shortage in ICT teachers. I would like at this stage to also point out that as part of the infrastructure access gap, there's still the gap of access to devices that can use the services, especially when you look at the 3G, 4G and 5G services that require smart devices. We have only 78% coverage uh, with just over 6 million broadband users in the country. We intend to also look at ways of being able to increase device penetration in the country and working with the fund to say, for example, work with the operators and vendors to look at providing maybe volume guarantees on purchase of devices that are coming into the country so that we can have 
even lower than wholesale prices. In the next five to ten years, the Universal Service Fund aims at tapping into the potential of deserving areas in enabling access to ICT services, which will in turn connect businesses to markets. The government has a responsibility to ensure ICT access to all persons living in Kenya. It is out of this conviction that the government undertook institutional reforms of the sector to encourage competition and private sector participation in infrastructure development with a view of ultimately closing the access gaps. The overarching aim being to extend rural access where the biggest challenges lie. 